So please, everybody, give a welcome to the team from LiveCat. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ryan Bukassin. I am the CEO of LivePact. LivePact is raising a $500,000 convertible note at 10% interest with a 20% discount. Our company provides a quality control solution to the subgrade compaction market. We use a uh, more labor efficient live feedback data system to achieve twice the accuracy of all our competitors. Improper compaction leads to a myriad of pain points across the industry, including plot holes, buckling, and uh, ruts. Improper compaction can lead to problems not only to the contractors, but also to the users of the roads. Everyone here has driven on a road in Nevada that's caused them to be late to work, to experience road rage, or damage to their vehicle. The current solutions in the market are on incomprehensive, non-proactive, reactionary, and time-consuming. I will now pass it to Cindy, who will discuss our technology. Thank you, Ryan. Hi, my name is Cindy Heinrich. I will be going over the qualities of the Intelligent Compaction Analyzer, otherwise known as the ICA. The ICA is a um, faster and expensive option for measuring the density of subgrade in order to estimate the stiffness. This product is easy to use, easy to calibrate, and can be attached to any vibratory compactor currently in use. Um, it, basically, it helps contractors make better roads faster and at a lower cost. The ICA has a GPS receiver on top of the roof of the compactor, which tracks location, and then an embedded computer display, which gives the readings from attached sensors. This provides a live feedback system um, in order to track the pavement response of, from the vibrations. Current processes um, don't, uh, cannot complete analyzation until after compaction, making it impossible to fix these issues as they arrive. Um, this process, however, with live response allows us to actively fix these um, during compaction, which saves a lot of time and money. The ICA uh, is field tested with a less than 1% uh, error rate, and there are currently two patents as well as one currently in the approval process. I'll hand it back to Ryan to talk about the market. The American Society of Civil Engineers approximates that it would cost a two trillion dollars to repair all the infrastructure in the United States. And this is in part due to the lack of integration of technology into the construction market. Contractors spend $5 billion a year uh, repairing poor subgrade compaction that they have achieved through the poor options available on the market. Our device will serve as a complementary product to vibratory compactors, and the market for those will reach $2.3 billion by the year 2023. The ICA addresses all of the market pain points that our competitors fail to meet. Other live data feedback machines cost nearly twice as much and have nearly half, only half the accuracy. Handheld nuclear gauges are dangerous, highly regula regulated, and can only be used post-compaction. The, the current quality quality assurance method is core testing, but core testing only tests less than 1% of the total compaction area, which can lead to a lot of holes in testing. Oh. I'm Parker, I'm the CFO with LivePact. The business model is a simple sales model. Uh, these units are going to cost us $5,000 to produce, given that this is currently a revolutionary technology in the market. We hope to sell these units for $25,000 a piece. The current price of a vibrationary rotational compactor is just over $800,000. These compactors are used for a little over 20 years before they're discarded. Meaning if we can save these $1,000 cost per project, we're going to be saving hundreds of thousands of dollars on each compactor in use by a given company. Our target consumers are our contractors, equipment dealers and equipment manufacturers. And our eventual hope is to be purchased by a large compactor producing company like CAT or Volvo and several others. Given the prominence of construction in the general Nevada area at this given time, we believe we can see steady growth in the next few years. Your investment is going to be used in uh, only a small number of ways. The primary usage is going to be for our actual device production. We hope to construct 50 units in the first year and have them ready to sell. Marketing is going to take up another $50,000. This will involve the creation of a website as well as some adverta uh, advertisement services in the upcoming year. Uh, we also hope to keep $50,000 in reserve for troubleshooting as this is a new product and we hope to be able to deal with the problems as they arise. 
Finally, $100,000 we use for basic operating expenses and giving us a location from which to work from. Do we have any questions? <laughs>